everyone, thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is all about how to slay your eyeliner and make sure that it comes out perfect and even every single time. So I have a bunch of tips and tricks to share with you guys. If you're interested, then please keep watching. Before I jump into the tutorial, I just want to show you guys the eyeliners that I'll be using. I use these eyeliners every single time I do a wing and um, they really, really work well together and just make my life so much easier. So eyeliner number one is the Tarte Longwear Precision Liner. This is from their Lights, Camera, Flashes line. And the reason I like this is because it's a felt tip liner. So um, it's really pointed and really easy to get a nice, sharp, clean line. The second liner that I have is the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger. Um, so this is in a pot, so you're going to need an angled brush if you want to work with a gel liner. Um, but I really like this one because it fills everything in. It doesn't miss anything. If you are working on a client that maybe has a little bit more of a wrinkly eyelid, if you pull the skin taut while you're doing her eyeliner, um, it just goes on so smooth and it doesn't run like a liquid liner does. Um, so this is really, really nice to use. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. I'm using the Tarte Eyeliner first. This is the felt tip. Um, and by the way, I'll leave these two eyeliners and brush that I'm going to be using linked down below just in case you guys are curious. But now, into the tutorial, I'm starting with the Tarte Eyeliner. What I like to do is just look at the line that my lower lash line kind of follows. Um, so I will actually go ahead, um, I'm going to show you guys and then do it because I can't. I can't multitask that way. Um, so I'm actually going to start like kind of right here on my lower lash line at the very outer corner. And I'm going to draw a nice thin line in that lash line and then just bring my wing up that way. So I'm going to follow that angle. Okay, so now that we have this line out here on our eye, um, I'm going to go ahead and start on the inner corner. And I just want to remind you guys, this line out here does not have to be perfect. Because like I said, I use two eyeliners. Um, and if you use two eyeliners, you can just go back in and fix that and fill it in later. It's a straight line. It's just not all the way filled in, if that makes sense. There's a couple patches, but we're going to fix it. So now onto the inner eye, I like to start pretty much right down here and I just draw a really, really thin line um, up until about like the last third of my eye. And then I start to get a little bit thicker for um, the outermost area. So I'll show you guys. Okay, so right now I'm about at that third mark where I only have a third of my eye left. So what I'm going to do actually is start from up here and drag it down. We're just going to do a nice clean line. You want a little bit of this motion to it um, so it's not just a straight line out or at least that's what works better for my eyes. If it works better for your eyes to just do the straight line to the top then by all means go ahead and do it. But um, for hooded eyes especially it's nice to keep it a little bit thinner and then up. So watch. And so now that line is connected and I'm going to go ahead and put this eyeliner down and switch to my gel. So like I said, I'm using the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger. The brush I'm using is the Sephora Angled Liner Brush. This is one of my favorite brushes for doing angled, angled eyeliner, for doing winged liner. Um, it really just makes it easy and especially if you're using a gel, this one I really like obviously. That's why I'm showing it to you. But it just glides on so smooth. So. This is my combination that I use all the time. So I'm just going to get a little bit of product onto the tip of the brush and then I'm pretty much wipe a lot of it off on the side here um, and that is why the sides of this look so dirty. <laughs> okay so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill in this little area right here right above my lashes. So the next thing I'm going to do is fix the tip of my eyeliner and to do that I just picked up some of the product onto the very angled tip of this brush. 
Um, and I'm basically going to start right down here, right where I started my eyeliner, and I'm just going to fill it in and shape accordingly. This is really um, a good spot to use very light feathery strokes. You don't want to just draw. That's where people tend to mess up. So just really nice light strokes. So here is that eyeliner wing kind of filled in with the gel eyeliner. So the very last thing I'm going to do, and I totally forgot to mention this, is use my NYC liquid liner. And this is a liquid liner, like the felt tip one is, but it comes with a wand, so you get to brush on the liquid liner. Um, so I... As soon as it comes out of the bottle, I like to really scrape most of this off um, just because we don't have any time for accidents. And what I like to do is then just go and do the perimeter of my eyeliner. So I'm not going to be doing any filling in of the eyeliner, just really making sure you have a sharp line. So now that the last liquid liner is done, the eyeliner for this eye is done and I can add mascara and lashes if you want and just be done with this eye. Um, and now for the second eye, what you're going to do is start out the exact same way. I'm going to use the Tarte's lashes Tarte's lashes, the Tarte's eyeliner again. I'm going to start with it on my lower lash line and work my way up following that line and then I'm going to use the gel and then I'm going to use the liquid liner from NYC. Okay, so you guys just watched me do the other eye. As you can see, if you take your time and you're very careful, you won't mess up and you'll get even eyeliner. But if you do mess up, let's say this one went too low and this one is too angled this way, you can fix it. Um, all you need to do is just pick out which eyeliner you like best. If you want to fix this one, all you need is a small brush. This one is the Morphe B19. This is a dense brush, um, so there's not any loose hair, so it's good for really doing um, fine line detail work. This is what I use to carve out underneath my brow. This is what I use to do cut creases. So this does really nice fine straight lines. And all you do is take a little bit um, either concealer or if you want to take um, a makeup wipe and dip the tip in there, you can just fix that line. Um, again, just make sure you really use nice light strokes, but that is how you fix eyeliner. Alright you guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something. This is how I do my eyeliner 99% of the time. The only way, um, the only way, the only reason I wouldn't do my eyeliner like this is if I already have tape down here as a guideline for my eyeshadow. Um, then I'll just do the eyeliner while the tape's there. But if you just want to slay your eyeliner for a day and not go out with all the eyeshadow and tape, then this is how you do it. I literally, like I swear, this is the easiest way for me to do my eyeliner and not mess up. Um, having that variety of eyeliners is really helpful because each one has a different strong point that I use them for and they all just work really well together. So again, everything that I use is linked down below including the brushes and that's all for now. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave if you enjoyed this video or if you learned something and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!